Hey, I'm Tommy, and this is the Chromos 5X100 RGB WW LED Fresnel by Photonia. It is one of the most powerful and most advanced lights ever developed for cinema and filmmakers. And as a lighting enthusiast, once I'm done showing you what it does, I think you'll understand why I'm so excited about it. So I only found the Chromos in December of 2018 after some late night searching for some RGB WW Fresnel when I was frustrated with the limitations of traditional panels. And it was the only one that I could find out of a small company in Italy and it was completely out of stock and still sort of in development. So I've been waiting for this light for almost a whole year and it's finally here and it's glorious. And it costs about $3,500. Now, I know some of you are probably like, what the heck, $3,500 for a light? But trust me, you haven't seen what it can do yet. The build quality is nothing short of stellar with no attention to detail spared within the components. It has a solid matte black aluminum chassis or aluminum for those of you across the pond and a thick aluminum yoke. It even has its own little activated carbon filter on the underside to keep the internals nice and clean from dust which is a detail I've never seen before when considering preventative maintenance and care. You'd have to be planning for an extremely long product life to put an air filter in your light, which is a hint towards Photonia's products and how long we can expect them to last. It also has a few dark blue rubber racing stripes on the outer edges of the unit to absorb small impacts when it's set down on hard surfaces, and two heavy duty handles that are on the back, positioned in a way that protects the controls from being damaged if it's set down on its back, or more likely when it's pushed into or against a wall by a careless gaffer trying to position the beam without looking at the head. Before we even strike the light, you can see some serious electrical engineering was involved in making this light happen. After turning it on, you know me, I despise fan noise. Thankfully, the engineers at Photonia have used some of the quietest fans I've ever heard. And considering you have 500 watts of power at your fingertips, I was expecting to hear a variable jet engine, but at the lower power levels, it's completely silent and it has five different fan modes to configure the fan speed ranging from keep this thing quiet to let it blow. Jumping right into it, one of the most unique things about this Fresnel I've already shown you is the motorized beam angle control from 15 to 55 degrees which can also be remotely controlled via DMX, just like the rest of the light. That means no more manual labor. You just tap the slider on the touchscreen or rotate the rotary dial and the Fresnel focuses internally so you don't see any elements extending or protruding away from the Chromos as the beam angle adjusts, which is nice. But if you peek inside, you can see most of the electronics behind the lens moving around. It's really an interesting way to solve a problem around durability with sensitivity to mechanically moving parts. With no moving parts outside of the unit, it becomes more durable because it's less likely that anything will be damaged by mishandling. The other incredible breakthrough this light offers is hinted at in the name, the Chromos 5X100. This is an RGB WW LED light, so it has five color channels, red, green, blue, daylight, and tungsten. And each one of those color channels has 100 watts of power available, and each channel is independently configurable. Additionally, the light is advertised as being dimmable to increments of 0.1%. But in RGB mode, it can actually be dimmed in increments of 0.01% power. Each color channel is individually controllable with an incredibly easy to use touch screen and the rotary dials on the side. After you've configured the color you want, you can control the overall intensity with the master dial on the top right from zero to 100%. So 1% blue, can then be configured from zero to 100% intensity. On top of that, each different color mode has its own custom preset buttons that you can set with a long press and then recall with a quick press. 
and this includes the beam angle configuration. So the modes available to the Chromos so far include RGB, HSI, and tunable light. Speaking of tunable light, the Chromos offers a 96 CRI and TLCI across the entire tunable light range, which is possible due to, of course, having both daylight and tungsten color channels. So it's time to get some data. I took out the UPRTech CV600 and took some measurements. In tunable white mode, it looks like you get roughly 10,000 lux across the entire range, and the CRI and TLCI is always hovering up around 96 to 98. Very high color quality and very bright. This is measured with the Fresnel at 15 degrees and placed one meter away. So it looks like you'll get roughly 100 watts of light power in the tunable white mode, but if you needed a little extra punch, you could drop it into RGBWW mode, put the intensity at 100%, and then put both white chips to 100% power. That's gonna put 100 watts through both white chips and you'll have twice as much power. And when I measured it, sure enough, you get roughly 20,000 lux or double the power. And the CRI and TLCI is amazing. It's like 98. And that just goes to show you that if you learn about your equipment, you can get a little bit more out of it sometimes. Since we're on numbers, if you activate all five channels at 100% power, you'll see roughly 50,000 lux of output. I don't know if that's really a practical way to use this light because you'll be getting a lot of color spikes, but it's available if you need a crazy amount of output. At one meter away, 100 watts is different for every color channel when you consider lux as a unit of measurement for output. It's not one to one. 100 watts into red is not gonna give you the same amount of lux as 100 watts into green or white. And it has nothing to do with how the light was developed and more to do with how different wavelengths of light work with the limitations of technology. All you need to know is 100 watts is an insane amount of power to have for any single RGB color channel on a light like this. If you're planning on using the Chromos as a key light, you'll be excited to learn that Photonia understood that someone investing in a high-end system like this would probably want to use it in as many situations as possible and with as many modifiers as possible. So they went ahead and created a bones mount adapter so you can easily attach whatever bones mount accessories you want. The bones mount, easily and magnetically attaches very securely and easily detaches from the Chromos. The best part about it is being able to attach soft boxes to the bones mount before actually loading them onto the Chromos because sometimes big soft boxes are just truly a pain in the butt to load onto traditional bones mount devices. And this makes it nice and easy. The Chromos also comes with a set of barn doors that use the same magnetically attachable interface as the Bones mount. And once you use it, you'll question why every other light in your studio doesn't already use a similar magnetic interface. Rotating the barn doors is super smooth and very simple. The advantage of having an RGBWW Fresnel over a much more common soft panel is that it's hard light and that you can convert it into a soft light. Common knowledge tells you that you can't go the other way around but that's not the only advantage of having a Fresnel over a panel. You're also able to throw light from a Fresnel much further than from a similarly powered soft panel. So your light can be set up much further away, which just gives you more creative control. And barn doors have a much more visible effect at cutting and flagging light from the source, from Fresnels. On top of that, a Fresnel has a very controllable spill compared to a panel. If you love soft panels and you're thinking you can just use a grid to control spill, you're right but you're also significantly cutting the usable output power. Here's a, here's a concrete example. I've got a 40 degree grid and I'm gonna use it with one of the highest regarded soft panels on the market today with a nominal power output of 200 watts. I'm also gonna set the Chromos to 40 degrees and set that one to 200 watts. Watch what happens to the output power at one meter when we put the grid on the soft panel and again at three meters. Here's what we're getting with the Chromos at one meter and again at three meters, with the Fresnel set to 40 degrees. The directional output power is a staggering difference while well, both units are consuming the same amount of power. On top of everything we already talked about, it can also be powered by AC and by DC from V-mount batteries. Photonia sells batteries and a V-mount battery plate adapter separately, and you can hot swap power from AC to DC so you can go from batteries to wall power back to batteries as often as you need without turning the unit off. The power ballast is built into the unit so you don't have to worry about rigging extra hardware anywhere. And considering all the hardware this unit has packed into it, it's surprisingly lightweight at only 17 pounds. The light is also flicker free at any power level, rated up for 12,000 frames per second for high speed, and is RDM ready, which if you don't know, is an upgraded standard for DMX controls. It's like two-way communication for DMX. 
It also has a USB port for firmware upgrades and 500 milliamps of output power to power other USB devices. And it has four selectable dimming curves from linear to logarithmic. Additionally, the Chromos can not only daisy chain DMX, but it can also daisy chain output power up to 1000 watts. The USB updatable software is a welcome feature to products like this because there are a few areas that they could certainly add in the interface that would make this light even more valuable on a set. A library of available Roscoe and Lee gels or filters, similar to how many of the other RGB lights are already doing, would be really helpful. And a list of configurable special effects like fire, strobe, and police lights would probably be really useful too. I'm sure they're gonna be adding those soon though, and is probably one of the reasons they added that USB port for firmware upgrades. So on my community tab on YouTube for my subscribers, I threw up an image of the Chromos 5X100 and asked if you guys had any questions. And you guys came back with some really good ones. Uh, number one, the price list. Here's the price list for all of their products and all of the accessories that I've seen so far. Uh, I think that the accessory prices are super reasonable, especially considering what the competitors have been charging for their own accessories. So props to them for that. I asked about the the availability and the distributors and some warranty information. And what we got back from them was they're expecting to have a US distributor sometime in the beginning of 2020. Until then, if you wanna get your hands on the Chromos 5X100, you have to get it directly from them in Italy, but they will ship it out 48 hours direct express. And the lead time for getting the Chromos is about one week, as well as all the other lights in their range. And because there aren't any US distribution or warranty facilities, and this is directly from the CEO of Photonia, anytime a fault should occur, they will exchange the light with a new one at their own expense during the warranty period, which is one year. And then any manufacturing defects are covered for at least two years. That's pretty cool to know that Photonia is gonna stand by their products and you know take care of you if you have any problems. So thanks for the questions, guys. Really appreciate it. Now that $3,500 price tag might make a little bit more sense and might even seem like incredibly reasonable considering that similarly priced panels are permanently limited on their range of output and features, and the newest and most similar offering on the market is going to be from Ari, the Orbiter. And even that's not gonna be available till sometime in 2020, and it's gonna cost more than twice as much. And even that one's not gonna have a motorized focusing Fresnel. And if you love seeing game-changing tech like this get reviewed and used, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.